Hey guys, welcome to the new video. So it's quite an exciting one today because we are sort of going eventing. So today we're heading up to Chard to do some arena eventing and at the same time they're also running a dressage competition. So it is sort of going to be like doing a one day event which is obviously very exciting and will be good prep before the season starts. I'm just taking Martha and we're gonna do the 100 which is slightly terrifying but um, you know I think it'll be fun so basically how the arena eventing will run is do a course of show jumps and then straight on to portable cross country jumps in the arena I think they've got like a big uh, sand derby bank sort of thing as well so that'll be interesting if you follow my other social medias you'll see that we've been doing a lot of like simulated cross country at home in the sand school so hopefully that pays off anyway we're going to be leaving in about 20 minutes I'm just outside my house here I'm about to go around it's not a too early start today because my dressage isn't until half two yeah I did still get everything ready last night because then I was like I could just have a nice slow morning which for a eventing morning is you know quite a novelty but it's about 10 past nine I have gone out and fed her and got her ready to go so now I just need to put her boots on and I think one of her plaits has fallen out because I did plait her up last night so yeah, go sort that out and be leaving in not too long. This is Buka. Okay, so we're on the way now. My dad's driving. Um, yeah, have you got any motivational <laughs> words for the journey? Yes. You gonna tell us? Uh, okay, um, motivational, let me think. Um, get it done and don't fail. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. So, yeah, it's hopefully just under three hours. So first long journey of the year. But um, yeah, hopefully you shouldn't take too long quicker because apparently we have to take the trailer this week. Laurie next week? Mm, if we must. <laughs> okay. Joking. I'll see Sales you. Sales profits will go up even more. Okay, I'll other, see you. Other oil companies <laughs> are available. <laughs> yeah, this is not endorsed by Shell. Um, I'll see you when we're closer to the event. Say bye. Bye bye. Okay, so we're now seven minutes away, so nearly there. How would you rate the drive? Uneventful. That wasn't a rating, but okay. Oh, a rating? Oh, right. Rate it out of ten. Out of ten? Yeah. Oh, I'll give it an eight. Oh, that's quite good. I think the plan when we get there is to, um, I'm going to go get lunch because, as I was saying in my season plan, the food at Child is so nice. It's... Then I'm going to head down and walk the course because I'm going to have to walk it when the 90 show jumps are up because my times are really close and my dressage time is at the same time as the course walk so that obviously wouldn't work. But yeah, it's going to be quite a rush from dressage to um, cross country show jumping thing. So yeah, probably won't be able to vlog in between, but are you ready to be a good groom? Oh yeah, I'll try. I'll try my hardest, I promise. Thank you. Okay, well, I will see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm just getting ready now. Let's go.
Okay, so we're heading back now and Martha actually managed to win the arena eventing, which, um, are you surprised? I'm surprised. Well, she was very good, but we did get that pole. Um, hold on, I'll start with the dressage first. Um, the dressage was quite shocking. I, not, not a great test. She was spending, well, actually, I went to go into my test and then I thought that I'd completely, completely forgotten it. I don't even know what happened. I did know it, but I was getting all confused with the serpentines. Anyway, luckily someone else managed to go in before me, but it kind of meant that I completely dropped her in her warm up. Um, so that probably didn't help. Not too bad, just needs to get out and have a bit of match practice, as you always say. Mm, I think so. But we've got a few weeks before the season starts, so hopefully we should be able to do that. And then the arena eventing was absolutely massive. Like this, those show jumps, I, that's a very big hundred. But um, yeah, Martha was really good. The, in the warm up, I kept getting really long strides and I was worried that that was gonna then happen, which I think it kind of did to a s smaller extent. But um, yeah, she was really, really good. We just came around to this um, really big upright and I basically freaked out, kicked her for a long one, but the long one basically wasn't there. And we got the pole, which again, like completely my fault. It shouldn't have happened, but it did, so not the end of the world. And she was so good around all the arena eventing. I don't know how much of that she's done, and I don't think she will have ever seen a water jump inside an arena. So she was really good with all of that. And yeah, managed to win the junior section. So I think that shows that it definitely wasn't an easy course. And yeah, we're just heading home now. Um, so I will see you when we are back at home. Any more motivational words for the journey? Um, stay warm, everybody. I'm actually very warm. No, I'm not. Are you not? No, I've been stood around all afternoon. That place is always windy and charred. It Friday. is, but the food's nice. My dad didn't get any food, so that's on him for being cold. Oh, I didn't spend any money then, did I? I did. That's good. But, okay, so it's now the day after charred. I'm here with Buck. I just schooled him and I'm about to unpack him, but I thought I'd take this opportunity to properly talk through yesterday because when I filmed on the way home, one, I hadn't watched the videos back yet and two, I feel like when you've just done it, you're kind of not thinking properly and it just wasn't a great video. I don't think I really explained anything. So I'm going to do that now. <laughs> Firstly, the dressage. Um, I was, it felt horrible. That's why before watching the videos back, I was so negative about it i was like that was absolutely shocking and it was like the mark that we got was really rubbish we ended up coming last in the section okay albeit there, it was a small section so that doesn't mean a lot but i mean watching the video back there's still so many positives to take from it firstly she was way more consistent than she would have been last year and the quality of her way of going is so much better just in general Hello, Buck. I mean, that's obviously a positive. Her contact is so much better than it was. The way, the reason that we dropped marks is, as I said yesterday, she was being really spooky, you know, looking everywhere. And although you can't really see it on the video, the reason it was so obvious to me is because when she's doing that, she's not listening to my legs. The whole test was circles. And because she wasn't listening to my legs, she wouldn't get off my legs. So I couldn't push her out. And so my circles were all completely the wrong side. And it was just like probably the most inaccurate test I've ever done. And obviously, if you do dressage, you'll know that accuracy scores. And because it was so inaccurate, I think we just dropped like a couple of marks from every single movement. And she did a very nice, but also completely unrequired flying change. So, I mean, had that been in the test, I probably would have scored quite well. But um, yeah, we weren't meant to do a flying change. And even on the other canter, she like fell out of it when we went into trot. So, yeah, I mean, it was a very close scoring section, but we did probably deserve to not do very well. However, going forward into the event season, the tests that we will be doing will be easier than that one. And also, I don't know if anyone knows that's watching this, when you do pure dressage, it's marked so much more harshly than when you're eventing. So, yeah, I mean... And overall, she's going so much better. So I think once we like nail down the technicalities, we should be good to go because she, I can see the improvements she's made. It's just annoying that the score didn't reflect it, but next time. 
And then the arena of eventing. <laughs> oh my god. When I'm jumping, it feels like she's jumping big, but I watched these videos back and she is insane. Honestly, I don't have the words for that horse. It's crazy. One day I'm going to have to start teaching her to not jump so big over everything, but right now, while she's being confident and trying to pull like that into fences, you know, she can do what she wants over them. There was one moment down a line. It was, I think, fence seven to the first cross country jump. It was like a related distance. I had walked this distance, so it would be the perfect length. And I knew like if we would got a nice jump in, it's gonna be a great distance through. She saw the, the distance to the first one from like all the way back at the fence. She takes off from ages away, jumps like the height of the wings and lands like <laughs> probably a stride into where I was meant to land. Completely threw off my stride. And at that point she was so like, she had just done this massive jump and then she sees a cross country jump and I had no say down that line. You'll see I try so hard to like get her back and get her back on the stride pattern but luckily her feet are quite quick so she did manage to just about scoot us over but yeah I think that was the one time that I definitely lost a bit of steering and brakes. However if you watched last year then you would know that my steering last year was just in general shocking so I'm really happy with how it is with my new bit I think I just need to be a bit more disciplined in myself to not let her go and take one of those drives because otherwise she can be a bit difficult especially seeing a cross-country jump I think it just blew her brain and she was like I am off she needs to chill out a bit but the talent's there the eagerness is there we just need to you know try and restrain it a little bit but I say this a lot, this season, and just the future with her. It's looking cool, isn't it, Bugs? I think he wants to get on tact, although he is standing here very chilled. We just had a nice schooling session, and he was a very good boy. I know this video has been quite short, however, next weekend it will make up for it, because I'm not going to say what I'm doing yet, but trust me, it's exciting. Both horses are coming along, Em is coming along to film, it's going to be a good vlog, so... Stay tuned, that should be out next Thursday. However, you can look on my other social medias just to double check that. I'm sure I will keep you up to date about when that will be posted. And yeah, hope you've enjoyed this one. Let me know in the comments how your season preparation is going because it is definitely coming up very quickly now. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and comment, subscribe, all of that. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey, bye Bucks.